today we go on British. Great, get around and see what this is. Doing. Yeah, g'day guys and welcome to another exciting episode of Silver Peaks Wanderer, the Friday show and tell. And today we've got the um, best of British. So today we've got the uh, Burmos number 21 stove and the Tilly X246 um, port pie lantern. Yes, yeah, so both the so both the stove and the um, lantern were not going when I when I got them, so we're just uh, going to see if we can get them going. I've kind of worked a wee bit on them at home, but um, still a bit of mystery whether we'll get them going or not. Hopefully we do. We may have to readdress them later on. I think there might be some issues, but uh, we'll see how we go. We'll start with the uh, the Burmos uh, stove here. Yeah, so this is called the Burmos Touring Stove, number 21 comes in one of these great wee tins. I quite like these little uh, tinned uh, stoves. This one is actually not that little. It's quite a decent size really for what it is. I think it's uh, might be, I, I can't remember, is it one quart they call it. Um, tank, you can uh, let me know in the comments if you like what the uh, size is. I could be totally wrong, but um, yeah, we'll have a look at it, eh? Yeah, I just love these little um, stoves that come in, in tins. So here we are here, nice brassy. Let's get that out, have a look, hey. Eh? Yes, it's got some nice uh, writing on the outside there, Burmos, number 21, trademark. Uh, paraffin, with uh, kerosene just written below it in small words. If you're uh, wondering what paraffin is, it's pretty much the same thing, I believe. Paraffin, yes, it says paraffin pressure stove. There we go. Yes, so like I was saying before, I've already done a wee bit of work on this. I've uh, replaced the uh, the uh, seal on the fuel cap here, and um, the uh, pump uh, cup that was on here was was one of those plastic ones, so I've replaced that. The uh, handle on the end here is a bit dodgy at the moment. I've just got a, a bit of rag actually in the and the uh, handle screwed on just as a temporary measure. But I will probably have to glue that on because the threads are uh, uh, taken right out of the uh, the the handle the bakelite handle piece here. So a bit of a shame, but we'll, we'll glue it up. It'll it'll be fine. Yes, it has this wee uh, fuel cap here to put on to keep the fuel nice and safe while it's in transport. It's attached to the uh, to the main uh, fuel cap here with a chain. I think so. I might have replaced that chain because it looks like a plug chain. You you could tell me in the comments if that's the case. It looks like it possibly has been. Maybe that was what the chain was. I haven't haven't had a close look at the uh, ones online to see. But, um, yes, yeah, so we've got the uh, the burner assembly here. So this particular one has this uh, little. Piece here which I believe is like a uh, ignition lighter thing once you sort of gets heated up enough the uh, flame comes out the top here to to light your um, light the, the Bunsen at the top there, the burner at the top we'll just uh, screw that in so there we go guys with that uh, screwed in there there is actually a, um, a spanner in here Nice uh, spanner, original spanner. Thought it might have had something on, written on it, but it doesn't look like it does. So I'll just uh, tighten it up with that. Yeah, so I've got that nicely tightened down in there now. And yeah, we'll just have a look what's in the tin here. So we've got a, a nice um, windbreak here. Burmos made in England. Yes, yeah, so that just sort of hangs on. It's got these wee um, bent pieces of metal here and just hangs on the on the uh, burner there. Here's a wee cut out there for the um, 
got this wee uh, lighter ignition piece here. Yeah, so there she is. The wind breaker on there. For, um, methylated spirits in to, to prime it. Yeah, so we've also got a, um, a wee flame spreader, I believe it is. It's got written Burmese written on there as well. So we'll just pop that up on there. That just uh, sits in there. Yes, it also got the uh, three legs here. They look pretty decent. Uh, made a pretty decent size uh, metal there, as opposed to some of the wee portable stoves I've seen. The legs are quite flimsy, but these are actually uh, pretty chunky. Three of them to put in there. So there she is. She's pretty much uh, good to go there. Just got to put some uh, methylated spirits in and prime it up. So this is a kerosene stove, like I was showing you on there, or paraffin. Um, I think it dates back to the 50s. Could be wrong, but I believe it's sort of around the 50s, maybe early 60s. So let's have a look, see what else is in the, the tin here. So we had the, had the spanner. And uh, we've got um, a packet of prickers here. Yes, it also came with a packet of uh, uh, cleaning needles or prickers. A pack of three of them. Never been used by the look of them. And it also came with the uh, original um, hand tag, uh, hang tag here. Which is uh, quite a nice feature. And there's some uh, instructions in there as well. Yes, so we'll... Uh, See if we can fire this up and get it going, eh? Yes, yeah, so we might as well uh, put a bit of priming fluid in the in here and uh, prime it up and get it going. So the first thing you should do if you've got one of these stoves is actually loosen the wee the wee air vent here uh, and let it uh, heat up before you close it up. So once it's heated up and uh, all hot, you close this up and that'll force the fluid uh, to go up in here and vaporise. And that's that's what we're burning is the the kerosene vapor. So we'll just uh, put a bit of primer fluid in there. Let a spark up. Just to give you a wee view of where, we're, where we are at the moment while that's uh, heating up. Yes, yeah, so we're uh, just standing up on a, a bit, on a bit of a picnic area and up on a track above uh, overlooking Port Chalmers, which is in Otago Harbour in Dunedin, the uh, lower end of the South Island of New Zealand. So I'll just give you a bit of a, um, a panoramic shot. So this is a working port down here. And uh, we also get cruise ships in here. There's a cruise ship down there right now. Looks like the Norwegian Spirit, I think it's called. Um, if we can uh, zoom in out there. You see there's actually some people out there racing some yachts way out towards the, uh, the mouth, which is out towards Aramoana there. There's some um, uh, yachts but having a race out there. It's actually quite a beautiful day today. We've had a wee bit of rain and, uh, for the beginning of the week, but uh, it's turned out quite pleasant for the week here, which is nice. Well, we did need the rain because it's been quite dry. As you can see, the hills are very brown and dry over there. So that's the Otago Peninsula on that side over there. Looking out over to Portobello. And uh, up there's the Harbour Cone, that hill there, it's called the Harbour Cone. And down that side there, it's out looking towards um, Larnix Castle. Yes, yeah, so we'll have a look and see how the stove's going. Yes, yeah, so we'll just uh, close this vent down there and we'll get a few pumps in it, eh? Yes, 
there so I did actually have some trouble with this Dave I think the um, NRV valve is uh, the non-return valve is actually leaking so hopefully I can get it going and cook up a bit of porridge A bit of wind blowing today. Looks like she is going there. Got a bit of porridge on there. So there we go. We've got a got a going. A bit of porridge on there cook that up oh guys we had a bit of bad luck the uh, non return valve is, uh, is just not uh, functioning properly so I need to address that uh, so we'll probably get back to the stove in a future episode I'll, I'll get it running I just need to take that uh, valve out and uh, service it never mind it's a beautiful stove anyway um, yeah so we'll have a look at the lantern see if we have a bit more luck with the lantern eh yeah, so this is the lantern it's a um, x246 um, also known as the um, um, port pie lantern because of the shape of the um, fount here um, dates back to about 1947 i believe this is like the second edition they made three editions between 1946 and 1950 so the first edition has a a lot lot shorter bale handle which sort of finishes up about here um, which was a, a problem I think with the, the uh, heated up and it would get too hot so they uh, they made the slightly longer version about 1947 48 which this is around that time and the third edition has a different type of um, hat on it uh, I, I prefer this hat here actually the, this this is quite a nice top a lid it's got the original uh, pyrex globe in it i believe yeah, so we'll see if we can get this good one going i had similar issues with this with the, the uh, non-return valve so hopefully still got the uh, the nice little sticker on here as well tilly lamp x246 yeah Yes, yeah, so one of the, uh, the kind viewers off the channel has uh, donated a bit, bits and pieces to me. He's uh, don donated this uh, mantle here. Hopefully it uh, works on this. I'll give it a go. I'll uh, have a go at the photos. So I, I actually haven't had a lot to do with tele lanterns at all. It's mainly been my Coleman lanterns. So, um, these guys that are in the know about tellies probably know a lot more than I do. I know very little. I don't uh, pretend to know much at all, but uh, I'll give it a go. I'll just uh, see if we can fit this mantle in. Yeah, so this lid just sort of unscrews and pops off there. There's the um, generator down the middle there. Then this, uh, this piece here is where you put the mantle. And uh, I think those pipes are for the uh, the air vent to mix the uh, air with the fuel. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, I actually haven't had a lot to do with um, tilly lamps. So there's the uh, the mantle we've got here. It's got a metal ring on one side. I take it that's the perhaps the bit that hangs down. And uh, the tie piece at the top here goes around the, the top of it. So we'll have a go at fitting that, eh? Yeah, so there we go guys, I was actually wrong. Like I say, I haven't fitted one of these before. I think the metal ring fits around the top piece here, so I've clipped that on the top there. And we have this little uh, hole at the bottom which will fit over the, the vaporizing tube there. So we'll just uh, fit that on there and uh, we'll get a get a go on, eh? I'm not too too sure about the lid of that, but um, anyway, I've got the, um, the wee, uh, priming uh, guy here. Normally you keep this in a jar that you actually normally come with a primus, uh, yeah, sorry, a uh, tilly jar that you put the, uh, the wee priming piece in. 
I've just been soaking that overnight in methylated spirits. So, so just uh, stick that on there. There it is there, just uh, ready to go there. So we'll heat this up and I think that the idea is you heat this up and it burns the mantle at the same time. I'll just uh, get a few pumps in it and hopefully uh, the NRV valve is going to play uh, the right game for us and we can get this going. Just uh, get this guy lit here. Sure, if that's going on, I think. Oh, yep, we, we're going. That'll be burning off the um, the mantle there as well. You can see it in there burning the mantle. Like I say, I'm no expert of uh, tally lanterns. I'm probably doing everything back to front and the wrong way, but uh, giving it a go anyway. So, so it's, it's quite a lovely lantern. This I sort of. Um, couldn't really find, oh, I've sort of slowly grown to love Tilly Lanterns, I've always been a bit more of a Coleman Lantern fan, I do like the Optimus Lanterns as well, but uh, this particular shot, shape here, I find extremely pleasing, it's uh, got such a beautiful vintage patina to it as well, as you can see my pump is working its way out, so obviously the NRV valve is a, a problem again on this as well, which uh, this one's a lot easier to fix, you don't need tools, you just need the wee pit piece, the wee rubber pit piece, because this uh, this here, where you fill your fuel up in here, this unscrews and you, uh, the other end of your pump is in there so you can fully access stuff, so good on Tilly for doing that, I just need to get the part to change that over, make that uh, work better, but uh, we'll give this a go as far as uh, lining it up, eh? Just let this uh, prime for a bit longer. Yeah, so it's been primed for a wee while there. I'll just open the valve up and uh, see if we can. Oh, we've got a bit of spillage there. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, that um, need tightened up there or something as well. And I'll bring us back. So I've just uh, tightened that up, guys, and um, given it another prime up. Hopefully, we can get it going. So, definitely got a a leak issue on the uh, the NRV valve here um, hopefully we can get a bit of, bit of light shining out of it um, yeah sorry it's been a bit of a fail on the stove and the, and the lamp today but you know sometimes messing with old stuff it takes more than one tr try to get it to go properly I have um, replaced the the, uh, the uh, seal on the on the this piece here, I just don't have the wee pip for the for the NRV valve on that. There's probably some other pieces in here I need to replace as well, but it'd be nice to try and get it going. So, well, um, let's have a second prime on that now. I might be able to to turn this and get it a go. Hopefully, without spilling the fuel everywhere. for us or not probably doing it all wrong <laughs> you tell you guys will, uh, will let me know anyway I get it all wrong it's always uh, something to learn isn't there in life but she's a lovely lantern anyway I really like this lantern oh, she might be coming away there Just obviously a few leak issues to sort out. I'll probably take that primer out of there. Ah, 
hard to see if it's going properly with the, the light. I don't know that it is. I've done something wrong. Oh guys, thanks for your patience. She's been a bit of a, a fail I think in both uh, things today. This doesn't look like it's going either. But, um, I'll keep you posted on both of these. Um, we'll get them going, don't you worry. We'll just keep working at them. Um, life is like that sometimes. It has its ups and its downs. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.